What's going on guys, Lucas here. Welcome back to another episode of how to code a spigot plugin. Uh, this is the third episode where I'm going to teach you how to add another command that is slash eat. Um, it will pretty much heal your hunger bar. We're going to add on to this um, heal plugin that we did. So let's um, find the uh, end curly brace that uh, ends the if statement for label dot equals heal. And we're going to space that out and we're going to do if label dot equals make sure it equals ignore case you want to use that one explained a couple times you should probably understand it by now and then we're going to put eat you could do um, feed eat hunger I'm just going to do eat because it's easier um, so next we're going to do the same thing we did here with the slash heal so we're going to do if sender is instance of player so that's checking if it's not a player like console let's say uh, I spell instance of something wrong. since we already imported player from last tutorial we don't need to import it again obviously so let's do sender dot send message you need to be a player to run this command and then return true because that tells it to stop running then we're going to check if the player does not have permission. We're going to do eat dot use. Send, sender dot send message. You, actually we're going to do chat color. Chat color dot red. You do not have permission to run this command. Uh, you could just do the same thing. Yeah, we'll just do the same thing. We, you do not have permission. And then return true. That tells it to stop running. And then we'll go to the part where it actually heals the hunger bar. So we'll do cast it to a variable. Sender to a variable. Again, you can name the player variable anything you want. Player, player, P, whatever. I just do P because it's easier. Um, so p not set food set food level. Okay, next we're gonna do p not send message. Uh, chat color. Dot. We're gonna do green because yeah. Your hunger bar has been healed. Yeah, whatever. And then we're gonna return true. So we pretty much did the same exact thing with the heal, but the only difference is we instead of setting the health we set the food level to 20. Um, so yeah. Again, we checked if the label equals eat, so like slash eat. Next, we checked if it's not a player, and then we'll run this instead of this. And then next, if they don't have permission, it ran this. And then if they pass these two, and they are a player and they do have permission, it will set their food level to 20, which is the max food food level, and then set send them a message saying your hunger bar has been healed, and then end of the code. So let's hop in a um, let's hop in the server and see if it works. Actually, we forgot one thing. Um, let's um, we gotta add eat to here. Food bar, whatever. All right, let's go see if it works. Okay, so we're in the server now. So let's drain our health and food a bit. All right, that's fine. And we're gonna do slash eat, that works, and then slash heal. All right, and that works. Thank you guys for watching. Um, next episode, I will get into useful stuff like um, adding a config. You know, like when you have a plugin, you can go to the pl um, the plugin folder and then go to the config.yml adjust some stuff and then reload the plugin i'm going to teach you how to do that on the next episode um so yeah if you haven't like subscribe and um stay tuned for more videos